Welcome to h a r p Explore. My name is Motoshi Kosako, h a r p i s t composer, improviser. Probably many of you never heard h a r p used outside of classical music context. However, we have been exploring into a variety of genres already for many years. But non classical h a r p i s t s like us are still extremely minority. So, it is hard for you to find us. Then we have to make an effort to reach out to you. Through this video series, I would like to share interesting cutting edge frontier of harp playing with you. For the first video, I would like to start with talking about the instrument. Uh, concert ground pedal harp. And this is the biggest kind of harp you can get, and it has 47 strings. And from really low C to high G. So it has about、uh, six and a half octaves, and you can see、uh, different colors on strings. So we have three different colors red. And kind of whitish color and black. Maybe you cannot see it on a video, but black. So those three colors. And red strings are always C's, and blacks are F's. So from C to C, red to red is octave. So I have, we have only seven strings in octave, so C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And a C repeating. So, and everything on this pedal harp is tuned flat. It means C is tuned as C flat, D as D flat. So, so now I'm playing the C flat scale. The, the reason why we tune everything on flat, I will explain later. Actually, there's a different way to make a sound out of harp. So, most typically, we just pluck. So, put the finger on the strings and then pluck. And then, on harp playing, we use only、uh, three fingers. Not, we are not using pinkies. We use three fingers and thumb. So, it's a little different from piano. Because piano, you use entire hand to play、uh, the keys, but on the harp, actually, we don't use pinkies. And then we place hands like this. So, in a way, right hand and left hand are mirroring each other. So, the fingering for both hands are the same on harp. Something like that. So, if we plot, Multiple strings together, we can play chord. And if we play strings one by one, we can play scale. Or you can play arpeggios. So something like this. And this instrument is called pedal harp because we have pedals. So, I would like to talk about pedals a little bit. So, as you see, we have seven pedals. From here, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So, why seven pedals? Because we have seven notes in octave. And what pedal does is actually、uh, very interesting. For example, if I press this pedal, middle pedal on the left side, And actually, this pedal is connected all the way to the top of the instrument here、uh, by the cable. And this pedal actually moves these tiny devices up here. It's called a disc. So now you look at the red strings, you can see something is moving he up here. All the red strings here. So this. Uh, disc is actually there's a two pins coming out like this, and if this is the strings, 
actually this pin st stops the strings like this. It's almost the same as a guitarist finger is pressing the strings on the fingerboard. By doing that, actually, they can change the stopping point of the strings from the bridge, fixed bridge to the, this disc. So for example, when the pedal is the upper position, C string sounds like C flat. And if I change the pedal into the middle section, and this upper disc turns, and it stops strings here. So in a way, this much gets shorter from this distance between the bridge and the first disc. So this is exactly like half step, Make, makes the strings half step higher. Now I, I can play C natural. And if I press pedal one more time, the lower disc turns and stop strings one more time that makes C natural to C sharp so this is C natural and then press the pedal all the way down I can get the C sharp and then this C pedal affects all the C's on the strings so in that sense when you set the pedal to the C natural, you don't have C sharp or C flat on the instrument anymore. So you need to know really what notes you, you want to use the piece you're playing right now. Otherwise, if you make a mistake on the pedal, you don't have the notes you have to play on the instrument. So that's a very, very how do you call it? disaster. So, and we have seven pedals. So each pedal, is assigned for each note. For example, this one is connected to the B discs. So change the pitch uh, from B flat to B natural to B sharp. This one is D, this one is E, F, G, A. So we are operating seven pedals uh, with two feet um, according to the notes you need to have on the instrument. So the combination between pedal and hand, we play music on the harp. Now everything is in natural position, uh, C major scale. But sometimes you need some other notes, so you... C major chord but you want to have probably E7s. Not e now you want to have D7s. And then G7s flat 9s. And then D over C. Something like that. So this example is very simple pedal changes, but actually to play jazz or blues or other, other kind of music, we have to uh, change pedals really quickly. Otherwise we cannot catch up with the modulation. I would like to share the performance of one of my original composition, uh, Distant Land. This piece is pretty much arpeggio all over the place. So arpeggio is a music term. Uh, it means you play the chord uh, like a break like this. This type of sound is called arpeggio. The arpeggio literally means uh, like a harp. So you can play arpeggio on any instrument like guitar, piano, or even violin. But uh, this is kind of imitation of sound of harp. So it means Arpeggio is probably most typical sound you can associate with um, when you hear when you hear the name harp. Oh, harp sound is like that. So that is arpeggio. So um, I would like to uh, share this piece as an introduction of the beauty of the harp sound. I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you.